bunkers are Foxhole's main player made defenses. They are also a very complicated game system to interact with. This video does not really deal with specific in-game examples, but looks at the system from a more theoretical perspective in the hopes of explaining the underlying mechanics and their drawbacks instead of teaching you how to make or design a bunker complex. Bunker squares and bunker corners triangles, are the basic building blocks for bunker structures. These bunker pieces each have a certain amount of health points, or HP, and resistances to different types of damage. Both the health points and resistances can be increased by upgrading the structure to a higher tier. At tier 1, bunkers can be damaged by heavy kinetic damage, armor piercing damage, explosive, high explosive and incendiary high explosive damage, and demolition damage. But at 95% heavy kinetic damage resistance, this means that of every potential 100 damage you deal with your 12.7mm ammunition, the bunker only receives 5. Armor piercing damage on the other hand is mitigated by 75% and the explosive damages are all mitigated by 25%. At tier 2, bunkers become immune to heavy kinetic damage and receive 10% extra resistance to explosive, high explosive and incendiary high explosive damage. At tier 3, assuming the concrete is fully cured, they receive an extra 40% damage mitigation against the explosive damages for a total of 75% and an extra 18% resistance against armor penetrating damage for a total of 93% resistance. Bunker pieces can be joined together. When placing one piece close to another, it will snap to it and, when dug, will form one bunker complex with its internal walls removed. Connected bunker pieces will have a shared health pool of all joint bunker pieces combined. This shared health pool will however always be lower than the sum of its parts. Once a bunker consists of more than one bunker piece, each individual piece can be breached. A bunker piece that gets breached will collapse, providing an access point for infantry. The entire bunker complex will have a breachable health threshold which is displayed when looking at it in upgrade mode. Once the health of the bunker complex drops below this threshold percentage, each piece that receives explosive, high explosive or demolition damage might be breached. Starting with a small chance of breaching and increasing that chance, the lower the health of the bunker complex is. Some ammunition like Havoc charges, 300mm and Fury shells and Shatter missiles always have a chance of breaching a piece regardless of breachable health value. For instance, a bunker complex with a breachable health value of 30% and a total health pool of 10,000 health points is able to be breached once the total remaining hit points are below 3,000 health points. To calculate the total health pool of a bunker complex, there is a formula that consists of three parts. The first part simply adds up the individual health points of each individual piece that makes up the complex. The second part is a mechanic called structural integrity. Every piece and upgrade has a structural integrity value associated with it. Simply multiply each integrity value with each other to arrive at the total structural integrity value. The third part is a bonus that gets added to the structural integrity value that takes into account the amount of exposed sites the complex has. Exposed sites are edges of bunker pieces that are not touching any other piece or are exposed. Good sites are edges that are shared between pieces. The lower the amount of exposed sides, the higher the bonus. To calculate this bonus, divide the amount of good sides by the total amount of sides and multiply that by 0.15. Note, the bonus value cannot exceed the structural integrity value. Now, to get the total health pool of a bunker complex, we can simply multiply the combined health by the structural integrity. So for example, a bunker complex with three tier 1 square bunker pieces has a combined health of 750 plus 750 plus 750 is 2250. A structural integrity of 0 0.97 times 0 0.97 times 0 0.97 is 0 0.91. And a structural integrity bonus of 2 divided by 10 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.03. Adding the bonus to the structural integrity gives a total structural integrity value of 0.94. And finally, multiplying the combined health pool of 2250 by the total structural integrity value of 0.94 gives us the total health pool of 2115. Placement of garrison upgrades on a bunker complex is very important. In the first place, because the structural health values of garrisons is significantly lower than that of blank pieces. 
blank pieces have a structural integrity of 0.97, pieces with machine gun garrisons have one of 0.89. Rifle garrisons 0.86, AT gun garrisons 0.82, artillery garrisons 0.74, and bunker cores 0.7. So a bunker with three blank squares has a total structural integrity of 0.97 times 0.97 times 0.97 is 0.91 without bonus. But a bunker with two blank squares and one rifle garrison has a structural integrity of 0.97 times 0.97 times 0.86 is 0.81 without bonus. And secondly, because garrisons that are placed next to each other have the shared side between them count as an exposed side. So take two different bunker complexes, both of them consisting of three tier two square bunker pieces with a rifle garrison and an AT gun garrison. One of them has the garrison separated by the blank piece, the other has them next to each other. Both complexes have a combined health of 2000 plus 2000 plus 1600 is 5600 health points. But the structural integrity for the complex with separated garrisons is 0.97 times 0.86 times 0.82 plus 2 divided by 10 times 0.15 is 0.71, leading to a total health value of 5600 times 0.71 is 3999 health points. The structural integrity for the complex with adjacent garrisons is 0.97 times 0.86 times 0.82 plus 1 divided by 10 times 0.15 is 0.699 which will lead to a total health value of 5,600 times 0 0.699 is 3,915. A difference of 84 health points. Not a nerve shattering difference, but a difference that will start to add up when multiple garrisons are adjacent to each other and the bunker complex grows in size. Starting to build bigger and more complex structures, small reductions in health points can quickly turn into big reductions. Increasing the amount of bunker pieces in a complex can increase the total health pool, but only up to a point. Because the structural integrity value of all pieces is below 1, adding bunker pieces to a complex will have diminishing returns. Up to a point where the structural integrity becomes so bad that adding pieces actually brings down the total health pool instead of increasing it. To illustrate this, here is a plot of the total health value of tier 1 bunker complexes of increasing size. For this example, every extra bunker piece gets added to the site, so these are all bunker complexes consisting of a single line of bunker pieces. Bear in mind that these numbers are to show the underlying mechanics only, not to show any meta pattern that has to be built. On the graph it is quite clear that adding bunker pieces initially adds a lot of health, but that this tapers off pretty quickly. Bunker complexes consisting of more than 38 pieces will actively suffer a drop in health if more pieces are added. Or some concrete examples. Adding a single bunker to a two-piece bunker complex adds 678 health points to the complex. But adding a single bunker piece to a 21-piece bunker complex adds only 156 health points to the total. Because it is the structural integrity that is causing this, the cutoff point is the same for using tier 2 or tier 3 bunkers, they just achieve higher total health values, as we can see in this plot. Even when trying to maximize the structural integrity bonus by making what is essentially a square bunker, there is still a diminishing effect and a cutoff point. To show this, here is a plot of the total health values of squared bunkers, or in other words, bunkers that have the same length and width, 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, etc. Here too is a very steep increase of health at first, but this tapers off very fast and then turns into a cutoff point at a 8x8 bunker complex, or 64 total bunker pieces. And once again, since it is the structural integrity that causes this, there is no difference in the cutoff point for tier 2 and tier 3 bunkers, only the total health values are higher and the fall off is steeper. When garrison upgrades are added to the mix, the picture changes even more. This is a plot of increasing amounts of rifle garrisons added to an increasingly larger bunker complex made out of tier 1 pieces. The top line is the line of blank bunker pieces of an ever increasing length that we saw earlier. Below that are the lines where one or more pieces are turned into rifle garrisons. To avoid the adjacency penalty, each rifle garrison amount starts at a bunker size that allows for one blank piece between the garrisons. So, one rifle garrison starts at a bunker size of 1, two rifle garrisons start at a bunker size of 3, three rifle garrisons at 5, etc. 
Once again, the initial adding of more pieces increases the health pool dramatically, but the more rifle garrisons are part of the complex, the less health each added blank piece adds to the bunker complex, even at smaller bunker complexes. Another effect that adding garrisons has is that it slightly moves the cutoff point further away, but also lowers the maximal achievable health significantly. When doing the same thing with artillery garrisons, which have a way lower structural integrity, we get an even worse picture. Not only do the health pools stay very small, the efficiency of adding bunker pieces to a bunker complex with multiple artillery garrisons has its returns diminishing very quickly. If we repeat the process for squared bunkers and rifle garrisons, that leads to a picture where the cutoff point is reached faster and the gains are lower the more garrisons are built. Looking at the same chart, but this time with howitzer garrisons, shows an ever greater effect. The maximum achievable health for a given bunker complex size drops very hard with every extra added howitzer garrison. To increase a bunker complex's resistance to artillery, a bunker piece can be upgraded to an artillery shelter room. When upgrading a bunker piece to an artillery shelter, it will provide 15% extra resistance to both high explosive and incendiary high explosive damage to all pieces surrounding it, including diagonally connected pieces. This increased resistance can stack, but at diminishing returns. Being connected to a single artillery shelter will add 15% resistance. Being connected to a second one will add another 5% for a total of 20%, and being connected to a third will add yet another 2% for a total of 22%. The trade-off for adding the artillery shelter room is that the bunker piece that has the shelter has its structural integrity drop to 0.82. This hit to structural integrity makes it so that on tier 2, the loss in total health points is only barely made up for by the increased resistance to artillery. To illustrate this, a 3x3 bunker complex of tier 2 blank pieces has a total health of 15,034. A 3x3 bunker complex of tier 2 blank pieces with an artillery shelter in the middle has a total health of 12,918. It will take 58 120mm shells to kill the blank complex and 65 to kill the one with artillery shelter, a difference of only 7 shells. Using 150mm shells, it will take 26 of those to kill the complex with blank pieces and 29 to kill the one with artillery shelter, a difference of only 3 shells. With tier 3 pieces, the difference is very clear. It will take 282 120mm shells to kill the blank complex and 606 to kill the one with the artillery shelter. Using 150mm shells, it will take 126 to kill the blank pieces complex and 270 to kill the one with the artillery shelter. With smaller complex, the results for tier 2 pieces are even less distinct. A 3 bunker piece complex with two howitzer garrisons and a blank piece between them has a health of 2918. The same complex but with an artillery shelter between the garrisons has a health of 2491. It will take 12 120mm shells to kill the complex without the shelter and 13 120mm shells to kill the complex with a shelter. Or 5 150mm shells to take out the complex without the shelter and 6 150mm shells to take out the complex with shelter. You don't have to do these calculations for yourself though. When digging a new piece or upgrading an existing bunker piece, the game will give estimated values for the change in total health and the change in breachable health value this will cause on the bunker complex. Combined with the information you get from looking at the bunker complex in upgrade mode, this can be rather informative. Keep in mind that you can calculate the structural integrity of a bunker complex by subtracting the breachable health from 100%, since breachable health, in a sense, is the inverse of structural integrity. To get a full-on breakdown of your bunker complex, you can use foxbunker.com to plan out your bunker complex and see what the maximum health value, breachable health value, repair value, and construction values are. As always, a big thank you to crowd Niner, who in large part drafted the outline for this script and helped with checking everything for obvious errors. Also, a big thank you to Tseko for helping me out with some questions regarding structural integrity bonuses and who told me to in turn thank Kisel and Dom for finding out that the structural integrity bonus cannot exceed the structural integrity value itself. So thank you.